Hello guys, welcome back to Moki's channel. Nobody wants to call, nobody wants to yeah, associate with me today. <laughs> so poor me. Well, so what to do? I'm gonna go to Blomsterlandet, but Blomsterland on the other side of the town. So So I'm back home again after the trip and what's this strange thing? What can it be? Yeah, it's um, something I bought at IKEA, Mulig, I think it says. Uh, some time ago, I think one year ago at least, but I was gonna use it for my catacidums. As you can see, it's a clothes rack. It looks like this. So this one can be easy to mount, but yeah. Uh, the thing is, I want to hang my uh, kerosene type orchids up against the window. So I think this one can be a space savior. And I'm going to hang my largest kerosenums, like this one, my black pearl. But how am I supposed to hang this one? This hanger will not stay. And this, But I would like to use the plastic container, so... 
but I will have to reconsider this time and go to a place called Dollar Store and buy a few more of these. Let's see. The hang will stick to this one properly. Mm, it will never, never, never loosen its grip. As you can see, I'm trying the hardest I can here. So, well, it's a bit uh, shallow, but it will do for now. And those were only 10 crowns. It's about one euro, so I think it's, uh, yeah, they're quite cheap as well. And let's see. Yay. So, oh, well, I can be suitable, I think. Nice to hang them up in on this clothes rack. So we shall see. And they also need a little bit of extra LED light. So I went to a place called Bil Tema. And it says here, Bil Tema. It's where you buy stuff for your car mostly, but you can also, of course, buy a lot of other stuff. As for this one, this LED light. And here you can see the um, technical info. It's the one I usually use. It's um, 4000 Kelvin. And and it's white light. Yeah. I think uh, it was, works uh, really well. And uh, my orchids are growing, yeah, tremendously well under it. So I love it. All right. So I'm gonna place it to the top on this cloth rack with my stripes. I'm gonna, yeah, <laughs> Do a couple of uh, twenty centimeters above the. Uh, the orchids, so that's gonna be okay, I think. Oops. What else have I got today? I bought two lovely accessories. Uh, accessories, no, no, that's not the word, that's not the correct word. It's for decoration. Well, I will soon show you what I got. It's gonna be more of a surprise if I show the two of them together. In one go. Look here. Frogs. Yeah. They are similar, but they are not the same. They differ a little bit. The the one to the right is a little bit more brown. Yeah, a little bit darker colored. And the left one is a little lighter, a little bit more yellow. Oh, is, isn't she lovely? This beautiful frog. As I said, I have a thing for frogs, so I do love them. It's so beautiful. It wasn't that bad. The price was okay. I mean, uh, 10 euro each. Almost 10 euro each. Uh, yeah. They also had small ones, about half the size. But yeah, I left them alone because I thought two is a good number. So I'm going to place them among my orchid somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know yet where, but okay. And I also got a plant. Yay! It's a regular, really common Phalaenopsis. This one I had before, this variation. It's a real common one, but I do love it. I always love this one, especially this one. So, look. And it's got a nice set of leaves as well. But I think somebody... Yeah, trip this one over. Uh, yeah, some of the media is missing, but uh, I can always fill the pot up with some new media. It doesn't matter. Uh, the roots are many and green, so she's just been watered. Uh, she's sitting in coconut husk fiber, so, well, uh, well, that's okay, but it's going to be quite water retentive. So I think I'm going to make a few ventilation holes to do the sides here. Yeah, and add a little bit of coconut husk uh, chips to the top, but yeah, it's got a nice set of leaves, as I said. It looks, oh yeah, it looks healthy enough. I like it, I really do love this one. And it's got a few more buds to come, yet to open, so yeah, the flower, as I always say, has not been out that long. So it's still gonna be flowering for me for, for quite a while, from today forward. Yes, let's just see, place her in a container. So she won't fall over. And now, now you're really going to be surprised. 
This is not what you expected. Not at all. Or perhaps it is. Look here. Isn't she a beauty? Look. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely cactus. The one I looked at some time ago at the other Gloomstead, uh, I think Plantation it was, yay, a couple of weeks ago. But that one was half the size of this one. And uh, yeah, and uh, the price did not differ that much, so. So let's see what it's called. It says here somewhere. Uh, yeah, <laughs> finally. Euphorbia. Euphorbia Lactia is his name. I remember that. And yeah, I was trying to read a little bit about it on the internet. I googled it and I did not find that much information. No, no real, no proper care guides. It only said uh, I found a, a little, little uh, quite thin care guide um, on Google. And it said that you should keep it in bright sun and you should water it um, quite, quite properly every once in a while and let it dry out totally in between watering. And you should fertilize it during its growing stage during summer months or yeah. That's all the information I found but <laughs> this one is the one that reminded me about a dinosaur. <laughs> Yay, <laughs> you can see it here. Yeah, it's a lovely one. And on my way, I visited a friend and we went to a grocery store and found this. Not an orchid, not an orchid. Look at the flower. You've seen these guys before, haven't you? <laughs> Lots of times since you were little, perhaps. This brings back great childhood memories. <laughs> Succulent, yay. And this one is called, it's got a really, really difficult name. It's Passifertum oviferum. Passifertum oviferum. Look at the lovely flowers. Aren't they just amazing? Yeah. So gorgeous. And it's got another spike as well. So, yeah. This one needs quite a lot of sunlight. And, yeah, I water it when... Yeah, the leaves, or oh, these fleshy leaves, should not be uh, wrinkly. Then you can, and then you will sure notice that it's about time to water this guy again. All right. And, yeah. If, as if that wasn't enough, I got a little, little cakey, shall we say, from her giant aloe vera. It's such, it, she had such a lovely one, aloe vera at home. Such a beautiful specimen. So I'm glad to have a takey from just that particular plant. All right, so, well, now it looks like I'm collecting house plants, but well, no, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not. <laughs> it's just that I, I haven't got so many of those. It's just orchids, but <laughs> well, never mind. They are also great. All right. Okay, and with all that said, I want to thank you all for watching and wish you a good night, good day, good evening, good morning, depending on wherever you are in the world. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.